I've already seen him pull off like four of these ridiculous Greninja strings. All right, so Smashville, the first stage. They started here on Winners Finals. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, in the last set we saw, um, there was actually one point where it looked like Benny was going to close it out, but then the Kill Sage just had this crazy comeback on him. So, uh, sort of thing where, he, oh wow, but those combos on Fox. Tied it up, got the lead. Nice Nair. Yeah, actually, like, Venia was kind of getting outclassed in neutral there for a while, but, like, then he got that one hit, and his just, his oh. spacing while he was in advantage was so good. Yeah, he just missed that Nair, and he got dash attack for it by uh, the kill stage. But normally, what boxes love to go for, they love to go for a run-up shield, and then, depending on uh, the option that you do, they, they will most likely go for dash attack. So what Venia likes to do is go with a short hop Nair, just to intercept that. Ooh. And right now, so kind of an unfortunate stock loss for to kill Sage here. But he will be uh, still is in this at the moment. Venny is, at, I'm not sure, I feel like down air to up smash might kill. Not 100% on that. It won't matter though if he isn't able to land it. The kill stage is just getting tossed off stage, tossed off stage again and again. 69% already on him. Now Sage has to go for a back air in order to get this. Oh, that was an up smash read. Ooh. He actually read that air dodge, but wasn't able to get the dash attack in time. Greninja, for those that don't know, uh, Greninja has one of the best dash attacks. It, it ends really quickly. Yeah. And that was a nice down smash. Both these characters have amazing dash attacks. Yeah. Um, it yet ends deceptively quickly. You know, like he does this spin out. Like you'd think he'd be like rolling like a top for like a couple extra frames. But yeah, he could just dash attack and then jab. It's similar to Pac-Man. I like to do like dash attack and then um, depending on what they like to do, most likely I would go for like a jab or up B. You know, quick options like that. So Fox, Greninja, and, and Pac-Man have been really good. Oh, and they're going to Dreamland this time. No FD. All right. So I can understand why um, the Kill Sage maybe wants to try out this triplat layout. I know that uh, Venia apparently says that Battlefield, he thinks, is Greninja's best stage. But Dreamland, contrary to what uh, sort of the community apparently believes, it's a different stage than that. It's a different stage, yeah. Um, it's a much bigger stage than Battlefield, and with Wispy Win and the edges on the stage. And also that lower ceiling will actually probably come into play for the Kill Sage a lot more than Venia. Oh, almost got the 50-50 there, but uh, Sage air dodge and went away. <laughs> right now, ooh, really smart. The Kill Sage is just playing this he gets stage control, and he's just doing so much with it right now. Yeah, just sharking him. Once again, he's going to put him on ledge, and he just stays there, and he keeps him in the corner, and it just seems like, like Venia hasn't been able to get back to neutral in so long. It's just something that you see from the kill stage. It's, I mean, he used to play Sheik, and so there might be a little bit of that hidden, uh, why he goes for so much of that ledge trapping. But it's just, it's amazing that he so does it so consistently, but now we the air dodge, and now he's edge guarding. Oh, <laughs> just missed the back here. That was really smart. To kill Sage, that's something we see him do a lot, actually. He'll have his jump, and he'll side B, and maybe he'll even side B again. And the third time, he's going to use his jump, and it often throws the opponent off. You know, they assume he has his, doesn't have his uh, double jump when he does. And the commentator classic, nice back air by Sage as he takes the first dodge. Yep. Ooh, and these the up tilt right now. Up tilt getting that two frame is so uh so potent. Will that kill? No, it won't. But I don't think he's a jump. Oh no, he does! And he's actually able to snap to ledge. Sage managing to make it back, but there it is, that 50-50. Uh then he uh, actually managing to close out the stock there, only with 40% on him. Nice down tilt. Fox being the fastest baller in the game, it's really hard to get uh, down throw into down tilt at an early percent like that. Yeah. Uh, although we have seen some crazy combos from Venia that like look like they're Fox exclusive combos. 
That is one of the uh, the glass cannon aspects of Fox, is just how easy he is to combo at those low percents. But right now, Dekilse just playing so smartly. And uh, he's only at 52%, and Venia is getting closer and closer to kill percent. Surprisingly, he didn't up smash out a shield there, but I assume he knows what... Uh, he goes into the type of guy where he doesn't just... Oh, just confirms went for the 50-50 right there, but Sage said, I'm going to go for an aggressive option this time. And oh, Venia man. goes for an aggressive option this time. But who in the footstool? Yeah, that tactical footstool right there. Going to be helping out. Nice grab by Sage. Yeah, puts him off stage. And Venia's ledge options have actually been really good. Like earlier in the set, we saw uh, how uh, Sage was consistently reading him. And now it's like he's going for these harder reads on the options. And Venia's just getting around him. And he's managing to stay alive, which means that he has all of this rage. He is a monster to be feared. Yeah, Fox is actually at up throw. Uh, I wouldn't say he's at up throw kill percent just yet. Well, oh, no, it wasn't, but that forward. Oh, wow, that forward, they're going to connect the bracket reset right off the bat. This can actually go to either one of these players. Mm. That was a nice DI trap uh, by Venia, because what he did was he rolled behind him, and then he grabbed him, and then went for down throw. But then maybe Sage probably thought, well, I don't want to go off stage, so I'm going to hold in. And then he I held also, in. I think you're supposed to DI behind Greninja for up throw, right? Um, he yeah. He could have also uh, he could have also been DIing for up throw. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Either way, that bracket reset. We are now in true finals, and this time we're going to be treated to that FD. Both players agreeing to it. Yeah, both characters actually excel on the stage. Fox with the uh, great ground speed and able to just trap people with dash attack and up tilt and up air. Same thing with uh, Greninja. He has up tilt. It's actually disjointed, so he can just snipe people from below. Wow, that was so much damage coming out for Venia. 74%. That is definitely solid, but being put... Uh, like, we've seen how, like, the way these two play is, like, you know, one of them will win neutral, and if it's Venia, he's going to combo the heck out of to kill Sage, and if it's to kill Sage, he's just going to put Venia in the corner, and Venia's gonna not get back for like a minute and a half. Oh, read the air dodge. You get lag when you air dodge to the ground. And Venia's gonna take the first stock. Yeah, first stock here in true finals. He has come back with a vengeance. Yeah, Apparently this man was misinputting earlier. I can't imagine it. He's just playing so clean right now. That's what he was telling me. Nice up air by Sage. Ooh, oh, risky to... forward smash. I mean, up smash wouldn't have killed at that percent, so I understand why he would go for it. Ooh, beautiful frame. I think it was a frame trap. Yeah, that was right a there. frame trap. Up tilt, read the air dodge, and then jab. That's it. That's it. Yeah, questionable DI on that up air. Maybe the kill stage just wanted to get out of there and move on into game two. Mm. Although, we, the kill stage has, been, has had some crazy comebacks we've seen. Yeah, he has some good comebacks. His comeback factor is not to be slept on. Now, I remember uh, a tweet Sage made where he wanted to have something to cover his glasses so they won't fall off. So he was just adjusting his glasses. All right, we're going back to Dreamland for game two. Venya opening up with 18% already. All right, both players feeling each other out. Whips the dash attack, but gets an up tilt. Really nice shield there, though. And, yeah, we saw how the last... the This counter, this so the Dreamland pick didn't really work out that well for the Kill Sage in the last set. But, he's, it's, but it looks like he's just committing to it. Right now, he has a little bit of a stronger start. Nice frame trap. Gets a jab. Ooh. Really nice that getting hit by Fox's weak moves is so scary. You know, like a lot of characters, you know, you want to watch out for the big meaty hits, but Fox is like he lightly taps you with that neutral and you're like, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Almost got that up smash and that strong back air from Fox, almost killing Venya. 
uh, those that don't know, uh, Greninja's Nair is pretty safe depending on how you space it. Yeah, Which as long is as why can... uh, the kills age is unable to get a uh, up smash out of shield sometimes or up tilt. Oh, oh. it's the up air. <laughs> okay, they're on the top platform. That top platform is so scary. <laughs> oh, reads the jump and he gets the fair. Venya one stock away from winning Xeno 77. And he ties it up. All right. Still one stock away. <laughs> but uh, doesn't have that stock lead anymore. And Venia has just been, his comeback factor has been absurd. This, like, he's just so far taken three spacing, games in a row. He's spacing these nares really well. Like, Sage is unable to get a shield grab or up tilt or even a dash attack sometimes. Yeah, and also, we see Venia is abusing that small frame that uh, Greninja has for a hurt box. Uh, it, like, the kill stage will be trying to space with these back airs, and he'll just he'll just be underneath them. He doesn't even need to crouch underneath them. Uh, oh, I think he wanted an up air right there. He must have missing for it. Oh, again there, the kill stage using that aggressive down air. Is that a hundred? Nice back air. White. Edge guard opportunity. Ooh. And the oh. weak hit of that up smash sending to Kill Sage off stage once again. That semi spike. All right, but here's the thing to Kill Sage, his punish game is pretty darn refined. If he's able to keep up the pressure, he might be able to convert it into a stock. Never count him out. He's still alive. Still alive. Sitting now with max rage. He's at up throw kill percent down. right now. Oh, he's at kill percent from breath. Oh, and here comes the Fox Vortex. Sage bringing this back. Yeah, and right now, this is actually scary. I think, I feel like down air up smash might actually kill. Oh, it'll definitely kill stage. right now. Back air at the ledge might even do it to kill Sage. Knowing that, and that's it! Which, he just did it! He just did it. Okay, that's... Here's the thing. I, I'm just like, oh, don't count to kill Sage out. And then he actually does it. Mm. <laughs> that was a nice nair into up smash. All right, and the Killsage finally getting a game on the board from these game in, so in this grand finals. Moving on to game three of true finals here. I wonder where they're gonna go for game three. Uh, oh, back nasty. to FD. This is Venia's counter pick, and it looks like yeah, he's counter picking two FD. Game one looked pretty convincing for him, so right, we're moving on into it. Hoppy hop. This jumping game. All right, nice dash attack. That fetch shadow sneak is so weird to me, but it can actually be really effective at getting out of some of those combos. I felt like his grab was inside of him and it didn't work. Hmm. Weird. Clip that. Yeah. That was a weird interaction. All right, Fox once again getting the. Uh, yeah, to kill Sage actually taking a nice lead right now. He's playing a very safe style, just getting grabs, getting laser damage. Oh, just missed the up tilt. Actually, this is so this actually is looking like it how it was in winners finals, where so game two looked like it was going to go to get Venia free. And yeah. to kill Sage had that crazy comeback, and here it is again. To kill Sage seems to have just absolutely crumpled Venia's momentum. Taking that stock, barely receiving anything. Then he, uh, nice finally. pivot grab, gets the up air. Nice stall by Sage. Didn't expect that. That's the first time we actually saw that for this set. Uh, I think he was using it, a, might be using it a little bit earlier, but anyway. You're thinking of Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. that's an Odyssey thing. Oof, those jabs. When is just jab one, just not long, correct? Um, j no, no, it doesn't. Right. And so right now, yeah, Venia is looking to find some way to close out this stock. He does, you know, as Fox being very light, uh, he is susceptible to a lot of kill moves from Greninja. But to kill Sage, now that he has the lead, he's playing this very safe spacing. And right as I say that, actually, Venia manages to get that nice meaty forward air, but he's taking more and more percent. Oh, he's going to, wow, the latest Nair I've ever seen, still managing to hit him. Oh, he reflects the water. <laughs> I forgot that's he crazy. can do that. Yeah, that's the thing. 
gets a grab, just adding more and more percent on back air at the ledge. Will probably kill now for both of these characters. Down air, but the up smash would not connect to kill stage. Doesn't even try and go for it. Instead, he's just playing patient, getting chip after chip, just increasing this deficit even more. Oh, and gets the up throw. Really nice. Last stock situation. But one of those stocks is looking a little more delicate than the other. Yep. And again, we've seen the kill stage go for some crazy comebacks. Many, uh, no stranger to them himself. Yeah, he's looking, he's going a lot for these nares. I think he's probably looking for some big combo starter. And Sage is trying to snipe him with an up smash when he tries to nair. Nice pivot grab. Okay, is Penny actually going to make this comeback? Like, <laughs> oh, misses the punish. Gets the fair. Oh, the spacing! And he manages oh. to air dodge through. But he's still alive. And he gets the. Oh, oh, that would have been it. I don't think so. Fox does survival at the top well. And can we talk about how Venia has brought this back? Dekilsage isn't the only one, apparently, who's able to really get those comebacks going. And he manages to jump out in between the pressure, finally managing to reset to neutral. Oh. The trade DPC moment. Is that going to be it? it? No, not yet. Oh my god. Venia still having to work for this. Both players. But the momentum is firmly in Venia's favor right now. But will he actually be able to close it out? <gasps> He's no way. He no! has to. Oh my god. He didn't do it. And Venia wins. No down smash. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow. That was what a finish. I <laughs> thought it was it. I, the kill stage got that trump. I'm like. Down smash Down incoming. Smash. And just, it didn't happen. He jabbed. He jabbed. I think, so down smash would have covered even if he did a beefy up B, right? Yeah. So maybe. Nerves. Nerves, that's yeah. the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, especially in that situation where it's just gone back and forth in that such a last hit game like that. Wow. So Venia, though, managing to take it. Uh, I believe that is his second Xeno ever under his belt. Yeah, um, it is. He, yeah. Was playing, he played so well today also. Like, he definitely, definitely earned it. Yeah, he played um, better, like, as the sets went on. Oh, yeah. Like, he had a lot of misinputs before, and he was telling me, he was like, bro, dude, I'm getting a lot of misinputs. I'm trying to up air, and I'm fairing, and all kinds of stuff. But he, he managed to bring it back, so. Yeah. And uh, so it looks like. Venia will be walking away with first place. Are we doing an interview? Or I no want to go home. We got to do an interview. Oh, okay, sure, we'll do it. Who, uh, <laughs> do you want to interview? Do you want me to interview? I'll interview.